Welcome back to Grizz Vision here on Grizz TV. My name is Neil Rule here with track coach Paul Rice, uh, assistant coach J.P. Benke, uh, at least the head of him in the background over, <laughs> looking over your shoulder there, coach. Before we get to this weekend where I think you guys are trying to set a world record for most uh, competitions in one weekend, let's take a look back to last week. Brandon Davis named the Horizon League Track and Field Athlete of the Week. You also set three school records. Uh, really a big time weekend from your program. Well, we've had a few of those honors this year with the Athlete of the Week, and it's great to see Brandon get added to that list. Uh, he's broken that school record now twice um, in the last three weeks. So uh, he's jumping well. Um, you know, it's uh, we had two other school records broken last week with the women's DMR with uh, David Middlebrun in the pole vault. So, and I've said it before, anytime you can break a school record in our program, it's it's a pretty pretty impressive thing because those records are getting tougher and tougher every week and every year to beat those. So um, some great excitement from Youngstown last week. It was nice to go down there and, and um, compete in the facility where the championships are going to be in a couple weeks. And, uh, you know, like I said last week, get the juices flowing. And compete well, too. That brings us to this weekend, as I said. So real talk, you guys trying to set a world record for uh, most competitions. Three meets <laughs> yeah. this weekend alone. Um, How do you do it? It's It's not easy. You know, but uh, I, I don't know if we've done this before. I know we, we've done two in a weekend, uh, but this is definitely going to be tricky this, this weekend. I'm personally heading to Boston with a group of eight athletes. We're going out there to chase some fast mile times. Um, and uh, that was something we kind of planned for this year with some of our athletes getting a little bit older. And those chances are, are getting less and less that they're going to get in those big meets. And sometimes with that event, with the mile, uh, the 3K, uh, even the 800, we have to chase some fast times. They don't just come naturally to us at the, all the meets we go to. Uh, so I'll be heading out there, excited to go there for the first time, and um, I've heard it's a magical track. You can run fast there. Uh, you don't go there to not run fast is what I've been told. Uh, and then we've got a group going to Grand Valley Big Meet on Friday. Uh, again, that's a high-level competition. You have to qualify for that competition. So we have, I think, uh, 18 athletes going on Friday uh, that have qualified in individual events, and then I think also one relay. Uh, and then Saturday, we'll wrap the weekend up down at Tiffin, which we did last year. It was a nice meet to uh, kind of finish off the, the regular season for us and, and um, see where everybody's at. And then we'll evaluate after this week where we're at and see if we need to get anything in next week. No, Coach, well, as always, we certainly do appreciate the time. Good luck all over the place yeah. where you guys will be. Uh, Assistant Coach Bink, you have anything to add? No, he's a man of few words. We'll, we'll have fun, don't you worry. <laughs> Thanks for the time, Coach. Right, thanks.